Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Force here and today I'm going to be showing you the beast of a PC that I'm building to carry me through the next generation. I announced a couple of weeks ago that I'm in the process of building a new PC. I got some fantastic support and a sponsorship as well as a, a few fantastic donors through Twitch and all of that allowed me to get this monster that I'm about to show to you. So I'm gonna do this in a two part video. First in this one, I'm gonna show you the components and then in the next video, I'll show you myself and my friend uh, putting all of this together to make this monster of a rig. So let's jump right into it. Uh, first thing is the processor right here. We've got an Intel uh, Core i7 processor. This isn't actually the top of the top of the line. Uh, right now, I I'm working with the 4930K. This is basically one rung lower than the highest processor available, but it's also about half the price. And frankly, something like this is going to carry you through the next five, six, seven years without much of a hassle. Really, if you were to use this processor, you'd probably just need to up update your graphics card every few years, uh, maybe every three to four years. Some people like to do it every two years, but I mean, it's not always necessary unless you're looking for ultra on everything, 60 FPS at the very least. But yes, the Intel Core i7 processor, uh, 4930K version. Behind that, we have got my RAM. This is the Corsair Dominator Platinum, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Those are gonna be two eight gig sticks that will be working in beautiful harmony. <laughs> I can't, I cannot wait. You know, 16 gigs might seem like a little overkill and frankly for gaming it probably is. But again, remember we're going to the next gen, things are gonna get bumped up and um, maybe one day I'll need this for gaming. But beyond gaming, I do a lot of video editing, rendering, things of that nature. And for that, um, well, I'm better off with the more I can get, basically. Uh, also, I have an SSD over here, just 128 gigs. Uh, this is a Samsung SSD 840 Pro Series. Uh, so, yes, I'm only working with 128 gigs, but I also have a 2 terabyte uh, hard drive, not, not a solid state drive, but a two terabyte regular hard drive. It's actually uh, the black series that I'll be running with the six, gig six gigabyte transfer rate. That's gonna be my main hard drive. And then the solid state drive will be for my install of whatever games that I'm playing for faster load times. Uh, this is also gonna help me with video editing and rendering as well. All right, next, uh, I'm gonna take a look at the cooler here. This is gonna be the cooler for my i7 processor. I picked up the Thermaltake NIC C5 Untouchable CPU cooler. Supports up to 230 watts. I don't even know what that's technically supposed to mean. You know, I, I know ever so much about building a PC. It's really my friend who's helping me um, put all these pieces together, but it's, it's actually not that complicated. I know a lot of people look at PC building and that's what we're gonna be focusing on in the second video, showing you the process. Cause there's only, I mean, this is everything. Besides a second hard drive that I already have in my current rig and the case, this is everything when it comes to building a PC. It's not that many parts. All right, now, this is quite exciting. This is probably the most exciting of things. Uh, look at this, look at this, GeForce GTX 780 Ti, that is right, that is the graphics card that I will be running. This, oh man, this is, this is my pride and joy right here, I cannot wait to see this thing, just capable of four-way SLI, never gonna happen, because I don't think I'd ever purchased that many of these, but... Oh man, three gigabytes, GDDR5, this thing, ugh. Oh, just look at it. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you can see the car itself right there. It's so sexy. It's so sexy. It's gonna be such a beast. This is definitely a top of the line uh, GPU. And I can't, I can't wait to see this thing just destroy things. Now, to, no, wait, actually, no, we'll go to this first. This is the motherboard. Oh, this thing is heavy. Uh, this is also top of the line at the moment. We're looking at the Rampage 4 Black Edition motherboard. Uh, included with this motherboard is an overclocking panel to make overclocking easy, I guess, which is great for someone like me because again, I don't know much about overclocking, don't know that much about building PCs. Uh, so that, that'll make all that stuff easier. Oh, this thing is so heavy, I can't believe it. And then finally to power all of this craziness, I've got myself a thousand watt Corsair. PSU power supply unit. You can see that right over here. Um, a thousand will be enough for what I'm running if I wanted to SLI. So if I wanted to get a, basically another 780 Ti to run 
uh, the physics basically. So one handles the graphical calculations, the other handles physics. I might need to bump that up to 11 or 1200. I don't know, do they sell 1100? I know 1200 exists. I assume they sell 1100 too. Uh, but that's everything. The final component in all of this is my case. I guess I can lug this thing up here. I've got the upper body strength, right? Okay, here it is. This is the case. Uh, Antec, super loud. <laughs> I don't know that, can you guys even see that? <laughs> uh, super loud Antec. Ugh, with a million fans in it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna. I might have to. I might have to actually like get longer cables to put that PC uh, to put that rig in another room because it's just gonna sound like a jet engine most likely. But there you go. Uh, these are all the parts that are gonna be going in my next gen monster rig. Stay tuned for another video probably coming up. Hmm, maybe Sunday or so. Where I'm gonna be building this on Friday evening and then put the video together and then I might upload it on Sunday, but that's gonna show you me putting all these parts together to make the monster of a rigs. Thanks guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the follow-up video. If you wanna learn a little bit more about how to build a PC, it's gonna be a learning experience for me as well. Uh, yeah, I'll see you there. I, this is, I can't believe this. This, this, this computer is gonna be ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. Thanks for watching guys. Keep watching and keep owning.